hi welcome back to my channel or if you are new then welcome my name is sophie Payne, and i do all things plus size fashion aid bit of beauty bit of chatting about life and yeah if you want to subscribe and see more of me you won't want to wait till the end check you like me um <laughs> if you do what am i doing <laughs> If you want to see more of me, then click the subscribe button because I'm so close to 10k. And when I hit it, I'm going to sob. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I thought that I would film a current favourites video because I used to do these like every month back in the day. And I don't think I've done one since like last summer. I definitely haven't done one since we've been in this house. And yeah so sometimes you just come across like gems and you want to share them but they don't fit nicely into like a haul or another video and equally sometimes i'll share something in a haul and i'll really like it but then i'll only wear it maybe once or i'll go off it or something like that so this is things that over the last like six months have been my absolute faves and yeah i want to chat about them so if you want to see what my fave things are for the last year, <laughs> stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, um, I've got pink hair, and I know like most of you are like, yeah, you've had pink hair absolutely ages. And if you're a new subscriber, you probably only know me with pink hair, but for years, I had really long longer than this um black hair and then we got married in 2017 and then it took me about a year to finally go for like a bit of a warm ombre and then i went back to the hairdressers and i said i want to do something like something something so i had it the top like orange and then the bottom pink which i really liked at first but then as the orange washed out I thought I really liked the pink collab but I don't like the orange so I decided to just dye it pink all over and I did it myself but the hairdresser had already bleached it um so yeah pink hair I absolutely love it I feel like you know when you f you find something and you're like this is so me like it just I feel like it gives something about me um and yeah i just i absolutely love it but it's hard work it's high maintenance and people say like how often are you doing your hair and i'm probably doing it once every two two three weeks maybe um and the hair color that i am using is the xx live by swash cough and i either use the shocking pink or the raspberry raspberry rebel um at the moment i'm using this one this one's a little bit more like brighter pink and the raspberry rebel slightly um like subtler um and yeah this is this is the hair color i'm using a few people have asked about it and i just i really really love it i really rate it and um, it does last pretty well as well as pink hair ever will last and you don't get a lot in here so i have to use like two or three of these um but this is the color i'm using and i absolutely adore it so that is a firm favorite and the next two things go hand in hand with the hair colour and that is these um, Bleach London Shampoo and Conditioner. They don't do one for a bright pink hair that I know of. If anyone's seen one then let me know. Um, but this is the Bleach London Rose Shampoo and this is the Bleach London Rose Conditioner they're amazing they definitely help keep the color in my hair um and just give it that sort of um that bit make it a little bit brighter the conditioner i'll try and leave on as long as possible um and sometimes i'll even mix a little bit of hair dye in with it but these together are an absolute dream um if you haven't tried the bleach london hair care then give it a go because there's so many gems in there it's a little bit more expensive than say like your 
L'Oreal and that sort of thing. Um, but I definitely think that they're worth it. You definitely use a lot less. Um, my mum's just dyed her hair like bleach blonde grey purpley kind of colour and she's using the purple shampoo by bleach london or is it silver yeah silver shampoo by bleach london and she absolutely rates it too and it's hard to please my mom so yeah firm firm favorite the next thing is so random and i was like shall i put this in my favorites video but i feel like i need to tell people about it and that is this toothpaste here and it's called the Colgate Max White Expert Anti-Stain. It's meant to be £12 full price for the tube. But it is on Amazon £6. And if you shop around either Boots, Superdrug or one of the supermarkets, you usually have this half price for £6. And I said I want to try it and then... I'll probably never buy it when it goes to £12. 100% would pay £12 for it. It's amazing. I don't do anything with my teeth. Like, I know my teeth are skanky. But, like, colour-wise, I don't put anything on them. I've never used whitening strips, brightening strips, anything like that. I smoke. I know, I know. I don't need the lecture. I smoke. I drink a lot of tea. I drink a lot of Diet Pepsi. Like, I can't say that I, like, really look after my teeth. Um, more than you know, I don't do anything special is what I'm saying and this has definitely made a difference like I really really rate it if you see this on offer absolutely give it a try because it's incredible I'm telling you it's incredible okay the next two things are um tan and I have never really been one like I've had a few fake tan faux pas in my in my in my time um one being the night before my hendo and i'm gonna put a photo of me at my hendo here because i used the bondi sands extra dark ultra tan on my very very pale body and oh my god it was something else the tan was good but it the color of it was ridiculous so i'm not really been one for tanning it always ends up being a bit of a disaster and um, but i got back off holiday and i had like a little bit of a tan and i was like i just i'm not ready to to let it go i'm not ready for it um and i've heard so many people mainly jamie genevieve talking about this u-tan coconut tanning water so it's literally just a spray for the face and you can put it on before your makeup, you can put it on before you go to bed at night, and um, you can put it on sort of like your decolletage. Um, and it's beautiful, it's such a nice colour. And I've noticed that I've been wearing a lot less makeup when I've got this on. Um, to be fair, I've, I've been going to like work and stuff without makeup on because I feel like this just gives you that little bit of colour. And I, I honestly, like. I can't believe the difference it makes and how much better you feel when you've got a tan. So I really, really, really rate this. Um, you might be able to find it on offer. I will have a little scout round, find out where it's the cheapest at the moment. And I'll pop the link in the description down below so that you can find it on offer. I think it's meant to be like £18.99 and I think I got it for 11 99 so yeah literally spray it on your face and the next day you look like a bronze goddess but then <laughs> that left me with a really nice tanned face and then my tan on my body faded so i thought i need a tan for my body but like i say i don't work best with like mousses and i'm just i'm i'm not great i'm really not great at it um so i picked up this bondi sands self tanning mist got it in light medium and it's basically just like an aerosol um spray i used it last weekend and i put the u tan on my face this on my body and it's such a beautiful color i didn't want to put too much on because i was like really nervous that i was gonna wake up really dark um but i really 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 like this really like it um it's honestly such a nice colour if you pay all give this a go because it's nothing too ham 
right couple more beauty things so first of all if you've been watching me for any amount of time you know that i'm a sucker for a bath bomb i absolutely love bath bombs however <laughs> this is really way too much info for the internet but it was <laughs> can i i don't feel like i can say it they were giving me a bit, a bit of brush oh my god why is that so embarrassing it's totally normal yeah um the lush bath bombs was giving me a little bit of issues with my flu full too full um so i've sort of decided to give them a bit of a rest and all i've been putting in my bath is these these dr salt himalayan bath salts um 84 highly beneficial minerals for the body cleanses and detoxifies naturally healing fragrance free for sensitive skin they um so it says stimulate circulation detoxify and hydrate the skin increase moisture retention help to promote cellular regeneration and can help to heal dry irritated skin help reduce inflammation of muscle and joints relax muscles and can therefore help relieve pain and soreness reduce stress and promote a better night's sleep i i mean that's a lot of uh claims but i really really like these and um, i've seen a few other people talking about them you can pick them up in like amazon asda they're not massively expensive and i just really 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 like them i thought that because it's like a salt it would be like quite drying like you know that sort of when you go in the sea and you get that like residue from the salt um so i thought they'd be quite drying but they've actually really really helped with my dry skin i get like a lot of like dry patches and eczema and stuff and they've really really helped so i absolutely 100 percent rate these they're awesome right the next couple of things are makeup and i haven't been buying like loads and loads of makeup because i feel like i've got quite content with how i used to spend a lot of money on makeup and i feel like recently i've just got quite content with how i do my makeup so therefore i've just been sort of repeat buying because i'm quite happy with it so um i haven't been buying loads but i'll tell you my favorite things at the moment the first i brought this maybe i brought one of these maybe like two years ago almost two years ago um and really really liked it then stopped using it for a little bit and i honestly like i brought a new one in a darker color because the first one i got was pretty pale um but i brought a new one and i've just fell back in love with it it's the it cosmetics your skin but better cc plus cream i know everyone talks about it but it's, it really is amazing it's spf 50 i'll get it in the color light medium and it's got super good coverage because i was scared that like cc cream wouldn't have great coverage but i absolutely love it if i want better coverage than just this i mix this with the maybelline superstay foundation and that gives me like full full coverage but this still gives that sort of glow and it's a gem i know everyone talks about this but it really is as good as everyone says so if you haven't already give it a give it a little try the next thing is this tiny little makeup palette this is the ruby obsessions by huda beauty um she's got a few different um like obsessions collection few different colors <coughs> but because i've got pink hair i absolutely love having pink eye um and i really really just love this palette and um, these are the colors i mainly use like these pinks here maybe a little bit of this and i don't really use the sh 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 shimmers this much but what i like about this is it's such a great palette for traveling with it's so tiny so compact but you can do like multiple looks with it it's also got a mirror in it which i think is super brill and huda beauty shadows are such a nice formula um so yeah i've been taking this like everywhere with me if i'm going away for the weekend this is always what i grab so who to be away and the last item on the makeup front is this 
little gem here. Um, I heard Jamie Genevieve talking about this so much. It's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And honestly, it's just beautiful. I can't even explain it. It's just such a beautiful formula, such a nice colour. It's warm, but not not that sort of like orangey warm i don't think i look orange anyway not that sort of like orangey warm it's got a bit of a shimmer to it but nothing too ham it's just such a really 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 lovely formula and these used to be quite hard to get hold of and um, but they sell them on amazon now really reasonably priced and it's a real real gem and it comes with like so you've got like the butter bronzer here and then um you've got like a little mirror and even like a little brush not that i don't feel like you'd ever put your makeup on with that but it's there if you want to like just whack a little in your handbag so yeah i've been absolutely loving that right should we do clothes or books i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna save clothes and accessories for last and i'll talk a little bit about books so right next up i have got a couple of things that are helping me get myself organized i feel like i lost my mojo a little bit with being organized and it's quite difficult um i've got a full-time job but i work from home probably like 95 percent of the time so i've got an office in the house um but it, it's just difficult to plan your day when you're working from home and I just I was just struggling with like the motivation I would find myself just like sitting there blankly <laughs> and I just wanted to like get my mojo back and really get organized equally um obviously because I do like YouTube Instagram and that sort of thing I felt like I really needed to structure my day so that rather than working late into the evening, come six, seven o'clock, if I needed to do something relating to YouTube, Instagram, whatever, um, I could also like book the time out because I knew that I wouldn't be working. So I just needed to really get myself organised and these two things have really, really helped me. So the first one is the original book I brought. So this is from Paper Chase and it is just a daily plan out book and let me show you what it looks like inside show you like this it's got the day and the date at the top if you've got a goal for that day what's the one thing you really want to get done and um, the tasks that you know you've got to sort of like fit in and um, what you're going to do is like time for me and then it's got a little note section and here is a um like schedule so you can actually book out the day now what i like about this one is it starts at six o'clock and it goes on till 12 i had one of these before but i think it was like seven o'clock in the morning till like five or six o'clock at night and obviously because i am usually still doing things on an evening i didn't find it that useful this one means that i can plan youtube work before i start my nine to five or after and it just melt melt it just meant that i had that sort of structure there so i really really rate this even if you have got like an office job i just think it's super 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 handy to have and plan your day and allocate a time for each task you've got even if you don't work or you're a stay-at-home mom anything like that i just think allocating time to a task really helps and stops you sort of procrastinating which i am the queen of and then as much as i absolutely really do love that book i wanted something that i could track different things but make it really personal to me now i know that these are all over the internet and mine is nowhere near as pretty as anyone else's um but i've started bullet journaling again now if you have no idea what a bullet journal is then basically it's literally a journal with dotted pages and you sort of draw your own planner so so if you've never heard of a bullet journal then just give it a youtube or a pinterest or a google and you'll see a million different spreads but basically it's just a planner that you can make it look exactly how you want you can track all different types of things and i just felt like 
my days can be so different I needed something that each day I could structure slightly differently so for example on a Sunday I don't want the full page of planning hour by hour what I'm going to do but I might just want to write a few notes and then on a Monday when I've got a massive to-do list I want to be able to have a to-do list by time and as different YouTube things come in I can schedule them in and I just wanted it to be really really personal so I've started bullet journaling again and I've just found a real love for it it's a proper um creative outlet and if you're not into like arty drawing that sort of thing then it might not be for you but i just feel like it's a really good outlet and it's also so relaxing like last thing at night i'm like finding a nice wind down to like go through and fill it fill it out and i'm just really 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 enjoying it and i've had like little to-do lists each day and then things i've got to get done in the week and like meal planning i put them in um things that i want to keep track of so like have i taken my tablets that i want to take and um have i spent some time on instagram commenting on people's pictures or have i had social media free time or um all, all different things like have I worked in the office all day or have I took my laptop downstairs or just all different all different things but I just find it so useful and I just love the fact of how personal it can be so bullet journaling is a firm favorite at the moment I literally live in this book okay next up is the weirdest thing, right, I used to read all the time, all the time, and I, I absolutely loved it. Only, like, trashy books, to be honest with you. Like, I read the full trilogy by Katie Price. Just throwing it out there. Like, I do like pretty trashy books. <laughs> but I used to read all the time. And then, I think as you get older, you just don't really get a chance to pick up a book unless you make the time and then we went on holiday to Lanzarote with the family it was a villa holiday it was so so chilled out and when we got there there was a massive bookcase as you walked in just full of books that people have mainly like left there and I thought let's give it a go so I went and had a little flick through see what there was and I um read the tattooist tattooist of Auschwitz which I've wanted to read for such a long time I read that it was incredible I enjoyed it so much and then I read My Sweet Revenge she still was on, hol on holiday bearing in mind this girl never picks up a book um then I read My Sweet Revenge which was just about like a cheating husband and like a badass bitch um and then I read this book here which I hadn't finished so i brought it home with me is that stealing i don't feel like that's stealing like i left books there um anyway it's by lucy diamond and it's just called on a beautiful day it wasn't the best book i've ever read in the world but it was it was nice it was pleasant and then i um i've been reading another book which i can't find which is like a story for every woman and it's like short stories um by jojo mayers or something maybe it's one of these by her no 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 yeah it's by like jojo summer so i've been reading them and then i now i'm reading these so this is by sally rooney it's called normal people it's got amazing 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 reviews and i'm really enjoying that at the moment and then when that's finished i've got my not so perfect life by sophie kinsella who wrote like the shopaholic um books so i am just really enjoying reading at the moment and i know that sounds so weird but like at night i find myself on social media all the time which is fine but then when you start doing it not as a job but like you start doing like in, i don't want to say influencing but you know what i mean like you start blogging and stuff it's not that social media feels like a job but it does to a certain extent because um if you're scrolling through instagram you feel like i should reply to my dms and i should like spend time like engaging and things like that and i just found myself on my phone all the time basically and i thought no what i'm gonna do is at night 
I'm going to go up and I'm going to read, read a book and it just really helps me wind down. I love having a bath and reading a book and I'm just really, really enjoying reading again. So if it's something you used to do and you've stopped, then I totally recommend getting back into it because I get so like into these books. Like I just love it absolutely love it and then the last one i promise i'll do some clothes the last one is another book and this is the pinch of norm book um from the blog which i'm sure you all know about and it's 100 slimming home style recipes and i know what you're all gonna say oh slimming recipes and oh no 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 slimming world and weight watchers and yada 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 cut all that shit forget about that this is just a really good cookbook. I absolutely love it. It's not hard. It's not like there's nothing in there that's particular, particularly, particularly difficult. And I just really enjoy, like these are all the recipes I want to try. And I've just really enjoyed like going through um when i'm doing like my meal plan for the week going through and like structuring meals from here trying new things and you know what they are they're all a little bit healthier than um normal recipes and it's just like little just like little changes like silly things and like making a curry with fat-free greek yogurt rather than cream and all of that so just about being like that little bit more conscious and a little bit more healthier and i've been absolutely loving like let me show you a couple of favorites so we made these the other night the tandoori chicken kebabs they were incredible we've made this honey chili chicken which was beautiful we made this chicken fajita pie which is like fajitas but you lay them out like a lasagna that was brill um mozzarella stuffed meatballs great and yeah there's just loads of really nice recipes in here just everyday recipes suitable for the family and i've just really 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 been enjoying it and trying some new new things out of that so yeah right next up is just a little a little a couple of pieces of jewelry now i <laughs> had my ears pierced had them stretched when i was younger had them stretched to like two centimeters each so they were pretty big and then no actually that's a lot i had one stretched one stretched a little bit the other one stretched pretty big like three centimeters something like that anyway i've ended up with like this what i could only describe as the vagina here and it's like just a slit so i can't wear stud earrings so i then went and got my ears pierced again because adam brought me some earrings for the wedding um and they were studs so i went and got my ears pierced again like two years ago and since i've had them done i haven't been able to wear like cheap earrings from like primark top shop new look etc i haven't been able to wear them because they just really irritate my ears so i went and brought a pair of real silver hoops they weren't massively expensive my mom brought them actually they can you see them now <laughs> um they weren't massively expensive um but they're literally just a pair of silver hoops and i have worn these all all the time all the time and the next piece of jewelry again i've worn all the time i love jewelry but i don't like i love the look of jewelry but i don't like the feel of me like feel feel of me i don't like the feeling of it on me like every time i watch like helen anderson jamie genevieve i'm like that looks amazing i love all the rings and the chains and that but i just don't like the feeling of having like loads of things on me um my wedding and engagement ring i literally only wear when i'm going out i don't put it on every day if i'm not leaving the house or i'm not going anywhere special i literally don't put it on just because i don't like the feeling of having having jewelry on um and i really like the look of like the multiple chain necklaces but i just cannot cope with them um but i brought this chain here i know i've just said i don't wear chains but this one's really comfortable it's quite a thick chain it's from sacred hawk and then at the bottom it's just got one of these little what are these called like vials and a little cross 
and it's just really comfortable to wear and it's the only chain that I'll actually just wear every day so I thought I should put it in my favourites because I've been wearing it all the bloody time <laughs> she's getting a chain there <laughs> okay right the next three items are all the same thing they're all belts and I never really <laughs> never really used to wear belts um but i just i love them i absolutely love them i think they're just such a cool statement <clears throat> and i know i said i can't wear jewelry but I, ca I can cope with wearing a belt so i've just been wearing belts all the time as you've probably seen on my instagram um but this was the first one that i brought and this belt everybody in the world owns i know everyone wears it over their slip dresses but it, it wouldn't be a favorite video if i didn't mention him um he's come everywhere with me he's been on lots and lots and lots of trips and it's just an absolute gem you really can't go wrong with it it's from asos it's black leather um and then it's just got silver detail which i like because i've all my jewelries silver yeah it's just got this little o-ring and chain i know everyone in the world has it so i feel silly mentioning it but i just honestly it, it's really is incredible it's the best the next one's actually quite new um and this is from simply b um but i just i really 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 love it and i know it's one of those things i do need to cut the label out look how annoying that label is um i need to cut the label out but maybe i can just pull it okay yeah let's not do that um but i, I know it's gonna be a favorite so it's um gray scale snake print and then it's got these super cool studs just smash that into my lip it's got super cool studs and then this western style buckle and yeah i just th i think it's really really cute and um, that was from simply b and it wasn't a lot of money at all and then the last one my mum will be watching this video going, that bloody belt, because she hates it. But the next one is this bad boy, it's actually really heavy. <laughs> this bad boy here, and I mean, 100% not for everybody, but it is cool. You can't deny that it's cool. And I think like the 13 year old gothy me is like, do it just do it i just I love it i absolutely love it you wear it like backwards i was wearing it the other way around and then i realized that everyone else is wearing it backwards so yeah covered in these o-rings covered in chains so heavy definitely not one to be taken on holiday but it's it is super cool the next item i've literally just just taken off um when it comes to clothes i find it really difficult to say like these are my favorite clothes because it sounds super bougie but being in this industry i tend to find that you get like a constant churn of clothes and i know i'm gonna get the lecture of fast fashion and all of that but it, it's, it's just the way it is you do tend to buy things wear them once or twice and then i end up like gifting them somebody or selling them or whatever and i don't find that i ever get like loads and loads of wear out of something unless it's pretty casual so when i do find something that i find that i'm wearing loads it means that i'm going to that item again instead of potentially something new so i must really really like it if that makes any sense so i really wanted to mention these jeans these jeans are the just the mom jeans they're just just called mom jeans from new look and i honestly felt like i was just on a constant hunt for a pair of mom jeans all the time i just kept ordering them off asos and different places and i tried some with simply b and tried some levi's and i just couldn't find a pair that i actually really really liked until i found these and they were so cheap they're from new look and they're just like a mid wash and then they've got these really cool like rips down i have to roll them up loads because i mean i'm the shortest person like that's actually the length of my leg that's the length of my leg that's ridiculous my arm oh my god my arm's longer is that normal 
Anyway, these jeans, so comfy. For a pair of mum jeans, like they're not, they're stiff but they're not like really 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 stiff i do find they are like quite tight they're a little bit looser on my waist and a little bit tighter on my tummy but compared to other mom jeans i've tried they fit like an absolute dream i love the way they look i wear them all the time i've just took them off to put on some novelty pajamas for comfort but i really 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 like them the penultimate item is this pair of shoes which are vans and they're just a pair of van slip-ons but there's just something about them that i'm obsessed with i i just love them i mean i'm showing you them and they're not even they're probably three months old two three months old and they are pretty dirty because i just put them on all the time i just think they're really really cool that i like the fact that they're all black and white but the front's like this dalmatian print and then at the side it's like a zebra and then at the back it's leopard i just i really really like them and i just find that van slip-ons are the comfiest shoes in the world i know not everyone thinks that but for me they're like super 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 comfy and my final item is this baby here that you know what i don't know what kind of life i'd be leading if i didn't own this jacket it's the coolest jacket in the world it's from simply b it's a biker jacket and i oh, just absolutely i've always wanted a jacket with these fringes on i always wanted like a leather jacket with these fringes on but i just oh my god I honestly, abs I just love, I know they're all coming from the back and I just love it. I absolutely love it. I just feel like it's the coolest thing in the world. And I, it wouldn't be a favourites video if I didn't mention it because it's my favourite thing ever. Okay, so that is it. That is all my favourite things from the last couple of months and everything that I'm enjoying at the moment. I just wanted to do a video like this because I wanted to talk about different things like the toothpaste, the tan, my hair dye, books, and like I didn't feel like it fitted into any other video. So I thought let's do a collective favourites video that just makes sense. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it wasn't heavy on the plus size fashion things, but if that's what you're here for, then there is this there's, there's a there's a few things on their way. Um and yeah thanks so much for watching it really does me a favor if you give it a little um thumbs up apparently and if you subscribe like i say i'm getting close to 10k and i can't even begin to tell you what that means to me like oh i, I can't even talk about it because it's just it's a whole other thing but it means the world to me and like I know a lot of people like watch and don't and don't subscribe um so yeah if you've got an account subscribe because it it does it means a lot and yeah I think when I get to 10k I'm gonna do a giveaway or something like that um I just want to do something to say thank you for everyone and thanks for the support and stuff so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. <laughs>